Have you walked a mile in someone else's shoes? Hey guys, this is Dr. John from Life Church at Artsley Park. And you've probably heard the expression to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. And that expression means that we should consider the perspectives of other people to understand that there is always a why to the what of people's lives. And the more time we spend trying to understand the perspectives of one another, the more we can appreciate where other people are coming from. So we should all do that. And in fact, it would probably make the world a more peaceful place. Well, did you know that walking a mile in someone else's shoes is not only something that we can do, it's something that God has done for us. Hebrews chapter four, verse 15 says this, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who has been tempted in every way as we are, yet without sin. See, when Jesus came into the world being God in flesh, he experienced so much of what we experience here on earth. He experienced what it was to be hated, to be rejected, to have pain and frustration. And he even seems to have dealt with the loss of loved ones, including his earthly father. And so Jesus, when he invites us to follow him, doesn't do so as somebody who doesn't understand what we go through, but as someone who has walked in our shoes. And so Jesus lived a perfect life. And then he died on our behalf to defeat sin, which we could not do. So when God speaks into our lives, he does so understanding because he has walked in our shoes. And so when we deal with pain and frustration or difficulty in life, we have a God who understands and created a way through Jesus to overcome the most difficult of circumstances. Well, I hope that this is encouraging for you today. If so, like it, tag a friend, and share it on your social media, and I'll be back next week with another two minutes-ish.